Torah Zion. We are, I'm sorry? We're learning to say the. Maybe we could. In the we evenings, can talk about this. Yeah. That, you can talk uh, about this. Uh, no, the Rabbeinu has a full Torah. Torah, say what? Tehas? A cool little Torah. Everyone knows saying because it finishes in this super romantic way. I don't know, but right oh, now, so right now, right now, let's just just learn. Right. So we said that this is we have we are, we we learned that the main goals is because of Chesaron and Muna, and when the Muna we rectify, then the Geula will come, and we say that the re, the way that you get a Muna is through Emes, and the way that you get Emes is through the Eitz of the Tzaddik. When you accept the Eitz of the Tzaddik, it's like you are marrying the Tzaddik. You accept from him Pchinas Zera. And this is the Vizet Perish where the Kodesh Baruch Hu told Am Yisrael in Yirmiyo, Anochina Nitatich Serek, I have planted you properly straight. Kulo Zera Amos is all totally, you know, a seed of truth. Vech Nepach Nisuya Gefer Nochia. I, I, I have planted you like, 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 like a, a, a vine. Of a good, you know, of a, a good vine, and now, in in other words, the children of 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 Elicher forefathers, the patriarchs and tzaddikim, and and what is a little this pasuk, Anochi I have planted you, I have planted you Sirek. This is the Geula. Why why Sirek is Geula? As it is said about the Geula, Eshrekal Harim Captain, I'm going to whistle to Amisrael for as a simon, you know, like a referee down the game. <laughs> game over. <laughs> Everybody out of the water, we're closing the pool. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a whistle. The Geula is finished. Everybody can come home. Oh. As a simon, should all come to Amisrael. This is so you see about the Geula, it says the Loshan Eshreka. I will whistle, I will signal. This is, this is why Sirek, which is Shirek, which is whistling, is a remez for the Geula. Is a remez for the Geula, the Chlal. This whole Indian, the Geula is, has, has to be the Gear, the Ian of Simonim, the Simonic Geula. And a remez, the, 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 the whistling is, 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 is a remez, is a remez for the Geula. That's why you see also the Tuma, you know, when they have Tuma Nikim Machshavas, they whistle. You know, and when, you know, they go in the street and they will show a sniff and they see whatever it is, it's a whim or whatever it is, they whistle. That's what they do. It, it's, it's a remez of Tuma. And the same thing, it's a remez of Mikdusha. Rabbeinu said, it's very interesting, Rabbeinu said, you know, I have, he says, I'm like a bird that has too many eggs to fit in its own basket. Mm-hmm. So that's why Rabbeinu said that. Yeah. I'm like a bird that has too many eggs to put in its own basket. So what do I do? He says, I spread the eggs in other baskets. And then they, the eggs hatch there, and they grow there, and everything, everybody thinks, that these are their children, that they belong there. It could be fryer houses, they could be other Hasidic houses, they could be, you know, from people from here, from there, whatever, they not to do with Breslau. He says, they're all growing there. And everybody, he says, and one day I just fly on top and I whistle to them. And they all fly up to me and everybody says, whoa, where are you going? You belong to us, you're one of us. But <laughs> they don't know, they're all mine, these are all my children. <laughs> These are all my children. So the Eshreko, this sign, Rabbeinu calls us each one from wherever he was. You know, he says like, where do you know? You're not the man I married. What are you talking about? You're not my son. You know, I meant to be in the army. I want you to be a painter or her. Oh, what are you no. doing? You're an actor. You know what? What's the story? Oh, suddenly you got the breast. What's wrong with you? Because yeah, because that's the rabbit put the egg and all these uh, 
I'm going to whistle and I fly on top and I whistle them and they all fly to me. Wow. The day, ma, and through what the girl will come? Now the day, what it says in the Pasuk, Kulo Zera Emes, is entirely, in the other, on the other table we can find the Kutum Aran, is on, he's entirely Zera Emes, is entirely a Zera, a seed of truth. Al the eight of the Tzadikim, through the eight of the Tzadikim, Shukulo Zera Emes, is totally a seed of truth. In other words, a, a, a seed which is totally true. Through this, Tovel Emes, the eight of Tzadikim, Tovel Emes. Through heeding the advice of the tzaddikim, you will arrive at truth. And this is the thing that brings the Malchus to be called B'Shem uh, Emuno. The Malchus which alludes to Amisro, this is how it is called Emuno. When, 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 when the, 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 the Emuno, when it is connected to the Emes, when it's connected to Emes. In other words, through the Emes you come to true Emuno. That's the thing that will bring about the Geulah. It is said about that the Geulah will come when the Emuno will be rectified. And the reason is the, why? Through the fact that the person heeds the eighth of the Tzaddikim, he, he, he merits Emes, he gets the, the brain drops of the tzaddik and the eitzer she mekabel mimeno for the eitzer that you receive from him. And the fact that you receive from him and the, the tzaddik gives you an eitzer and you receive it and it becomes mm-hmm. part of you is like a woman that receives zera and it impregnates and gives birth to a new Metzius. When you get the Eitzah of the Tzaddik, it impregnates you and it brings about your new Kedusha, your new Yiddishkeit. This is called, cool. it brings about Emes, which brings you to Amuna. This is what the Pasuk says, and Emes Chafatz, though, when you, you want Emes, you desire the Emes, the Eitzah of this, Batucho, it's another Bakloyes in, 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 in the kidneys. That's the, you know, the Eitzah center in, 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 in the Eitzah, Chochmat Odiyani, through the Kloyes, through the Eitzah Center, I will know and accept the Chochmah of the Tzadik. In other words, She'ezke lekabel tipe amoyach, I will be zoichet to receive the brain drops, tipe asecha, the, 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 the intellect, the drops of intellect of the Seichel, of the Tzadik, that comes from his moyach to his, to his kidneys, so to speak, through this, this 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 mechanism, so to speak, that that comes from this really ethereal, abstract mind of the tzaddik that is totally double beemis, and it's brought down through uh, uh, what we call an interface that takes the saga of the tzaddik and makes out of it, you know, a, a, a message, an email that can be delivered. To you and me, so we can bring the ma'aser. That mechanism that, that that processes the raw data of the chokmas tzaddik, of the tzaddik, and brings it down to a message that can interface with me, that interact with me. That mechanism is called kloyos. That's called the kidneys. This is called vashlos azera. It it, it 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 it's a step down mechanism. That, 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 that solidifies it, congeals it, and dumbs it down, quote unquote, to my level, so I can receive it and conceive a new Yiddishkeit. Conceive Emes and Amuna. Now, the Eitz is Shakabal Mehem, Vazai Eskal Emes, then I will be Zoycha to Emes. Because Tipa Secha Nikra Kulo Zera Emes, because the drop of the Secha is called his entirety. Is a seed of truth because they come from a tzaddik who adheres to the truth. Now, the oimekainim is because the sechel, the, the, the holy sechel of the tzaddik, and his asoga, his his, his highly asoga, is an emes which is totally clear. It's pristine. It's 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 without a blemish. And his his highly eitzes, his his eitzes, 
his mom's like a drop of his seichel. Is the brainchild of you know it's his brainchild. Bevade, bevade, every single eight that he has, there's tremendous, tremendous asogas and chidushim and unbelievable mysteries. Every deeper and every eight of the tzaddik, every eight of the tzaddik, which is the essence and the epitome of the light of the elves. That's why when you are to be the Kabul, the, the highly gates of the Tzaddik, even though you still don't understand, you know, the profundity thereof, you just don't okay, so give me a Tzaddik, I'm fine. Okay. Nevertheless, the very fact alone that you receive the Tzaddik, so you accept it, and you bring it down the mice, so you behave according to it, this in itself engraves in you the light of the Amos. By itself, it happens automatically. You take an aspirin, and he's gone. You know how it works. I don't know. You take it, you back, it does it. Through the Kedusha Sa'etza, which is Kula Zera Emes, it, it comes from the Moyach of the Tzadik, which is totally Emes, and this engraved the Emes in you. And then afterwards, when you have to feel in your own heart, in your own mind, you know, a little bit of, 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 of an illumination, of, of the, the Kedusha Sa'emes and, and what it does it, it inflames in you it burns up in you uh, an, an insatiable desire to the Emes alone and this completes your Emunah because then you first to understand what you should believe in Bechlau and we just know I believe in Hashem and Tzadikim okay, wow there's so much Amkas in it when you Zoycha to the age of the tzaddik, and to behave with it, it creates within you the kalim for the rotsa, it creates within you the kalim to, to, to the comprehension, to the avana of what to believe in, and brings the moon in that. Atkan for today.